All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeen. Welcome to today's blog. We are on week 11 of the 2015 college football season, and I have some great matches for you this week, just like every other week. Now, we're actually headed closer towards the end of the regular season, so teams is actually still racing for their um to make it to their conference championships or even win out their conference um, ti uh, titles at right. Now, I'm going to start with the MAC conference, and before I begin, I humbly apologize. I forgot to mention. Um, the last night's game between Central Michigan and Toledo. That is an important matchup in the MAC um, conference in which Toledo did pull off a 28-23 victory. And honestly, I would have picked Toledo in that matchup, but that was definitely a bit important game for both Central Michigan and Toledo. But the next up is tonight between Bowling Green at Western Michigan. Both teams are actually undefeated in conference play, and they lead their, their divisions respectively 5-0. and no. For Bowling Green, they only have two losses, and for Western Michigan, they have three losses this season. This should be an exciting, high-flying, passing offensive matchup to show you guys between quarterback Zach Terrell of of Western Michigan and Matt Johnson of Bowling Green. Matt Johnson's having a great year and he could definitely win the outright offensive player of the year of the Matt Conference. Now for Zach Terrell, he's a great quarterback as well. 20 touchdown passes, I believe, just seven interceptions. Now it's gonna be um, gonna be a good duel between the two teams, and we're gonna see which defenses holds up en enough. Now for this matchup, I'm actually gonna go with the visitor in Bowling Green. I think this is gonna be a close game, but I believe I like the passing attack of Matt Johnson and I think people are still kind of somewhat sleeping on Travis Green, the running back for the Falcons. I think this is going to be a close game, but I have Bowling Green pulling off the road victory. Next up in the ACC Conference as Pitt heads over to play against the Duke Blue Devils. Now, Duke is still alive in the Coastal Division of the ACC Conference despite their loss last week against North Carolina. Now, they definitely had to have to win this game in order to uh, um, uh, win the um, Coastal Championship. They stay alive for the Coastal Championship. And I'm to go with the Blue Devils in this one. Pitt is a decent team, but this is not the same team that has a great quarterback in Marquise Williams from North Carolina. I think that the, especially the, and also the home field advantage for the Blue Devils, I'm going to have to go with Duke in that matchup. Sticking to the ACC, Miami is going to be playing at number 23, UNC, who just beat Duke. All they really have to do is win, and they will win the Coastal Division of the ACC Conference, but I still believe they still need the, uh, Duke to lose in their matchup, but I still I still see them, um, the Tar Heels, winning in that game against the uh, Hurricanes. Next up, NC State is going to be traveling to Tallahassee to face number 16, Florida State. Florida State lost last week 23-13 to to Clemson. That it was a great game, and I think they're going to have a good um, comeback this week, this win, this game against North Carolina, a good Wolfpack team. I'm still going to go with FSU in this one. Davin Cook should have a, another great game. Next up, number 2, Alabama is going to be traveling to Mississippi State to face the Bulldogs, who's ranked 17. Now, Alabama's definitely um, um, tearing things up in college football in the SEC conference and they're still seeking, they're looking to win the SEC championship. I'm going to have to go with the Bama Hurt, um, um, Crimson Tide in that matchup. Next up, Oregon's going to be facing number 7 Stanford. Now Stanford is definitely just, they just need to win to win the um, North Division of the Pac-12 um, um, conference, but I'm going to have to call this game as my upset game of the week. This is a different Oregon team than what we've seen in recent years. They're not as good as far as their speed overall, particularly at the quarterback, but I see that they're actually utilizing their offense just a little bit different and using using quarterback Vern Adams. He's more of a passing quarterback, not too much of a running quarterback like we've seen in Marcus Mariota, and I think this is a good team um, for Oregon despite with their three losses. I believe that they're going to pull the upset this week. Next up, number 12, Oklahoma is going to be facing number six Baylor. Now this should have been my game of the week, but I'm going to explain why in just a couple of seconds. This is going to be a great game. Now Baylor's going to have a, a, a sec, going to be the second start for quarterback Jerry um, Stidham. I, for Baylor, I think he's going to do good enough against that OU defense. We are definitely oh, oh, Baylor definitely looked at the game between OU and my Texas Longhorns, and they're looking to replicate that defensively and stopping the pass attack for um the Sooners. I'm going to have to go with Baylor with the um home victory. Next up, going back to the Pac-12 Conference, another upset game of the week between Washington State at number 19, UCLA. Bruins are ranked um, 19th overall with two losses, but I do like Luke Falk and Washington State. They're passing attack, and they came close to beating Stanford a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to have to go with the Cougars in this one. Now, lastly, my game of the week as number 23, Memphis, is going to be traveling to Houston to face number 24, Houston Cougars. Now, this is going to be a great 
game for you guys to watch in the American Athletic Conference. Now, last week, Memphis did lose to Mate Navy and their quarterback, and their star quarterback, Keenan um, Reynolds. But um, um, Houston also has a great quarterback as well, and Greg um, Ward Jr., who's actually it could be to be the uh, player of the year of the American Athletic Conference, is doing a great job leading this team to an undefeated season thus far. Now, despite Memphis did have suffered their first loss last week, they're still ranked above Houston because of their strength of schedule. And this is the, probably the most important game for Houston. This is their most important game this season. I'm going to have to go with the Cougars in this one with another upset. I think that this Cougar team is going to do good enough, and it's particularly with a good dual threat at quarterback with Greg Ward, and they have a great electrifying receiver and Demarcus Ayers. And let's not forget about Kenneth Farrell, Farrell, the running back behind Greg Ward. I think this offense is going to do great. And also, Paxton Lynch is a great quarterback, but he has actually been struggling the past couple of weeks and throwing the ball in the end zone with touchdown passes. Moses Frazier and Anthony Miller is going to have to step it up and become good um, end zone threats this year, this week uh, for the Memphis Tigers to win. But I think that Cougar defense is going to do just good enough to hold out Memphis. I'm going to have to go with Houston over Memphis in a great American Athletic showdown. Next time to catch you guys will be on Saturday in which I'm going to give you guys a recap. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching today's blog. I'm your man, Keem McCall. Be easy.